the final result of the jelly look that I made today. Um, it was hard, I'm not gonna lie. This filter is like surprisingly hard to make accurate. If you want to watch me struggle to recreate this um, jelly look filter and if you want to know how to achieve this look then just keep watching. Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to try to do the TikTok jelly look filter. Uh, I saw some of you guys request that and also I really want to do it because um, I think that the filter, skin whitening filter part of it aside, um, I think it's very cute. The makeup is very simple. Also kind of complex, like this is going to be my reference right here. I filmed myself with and without the filter. Here, this is me with it on, this is me without it, so <laughs> you can see the difference. Without the whitening filter, I feel like it it adds height to your lips. Um, I'm not entirely sure and it also adds some eye bags, I can see some darkness on the lash line as well as contacts that's what i see from the filter um of course it adds a pinkish uh jelly lip gloss and i think it also adds some blush as well as some sort of like smoothening filter so that's what i'm trying to go for i'm going to try and like i said recreate that today to the best of my abilities but before all of that, I'm going... The, the filter does not necessarily change your eye color, but um, I'm going to put on natural looking contact lenses and these are the VV Ring Brown from Olens. As you can see, it makes the eyes look a little bit bigger. This eye compared to this eye looks a lot more bright. I'm going to add some primer, as usual from She Glam. It's their birthday skin primer. So now that the skin is primed, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off cam. Uh, it. The filter just fills it in regularly. Since I now have dyed roots, I'm going to go for a lighter brown um, for my eyebrow color as opposed to like a deep brown. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that off cam and I'll be right back. So now um, my brows are done. Um, I just fill them in like how I would usually. So for today's video, I'm going to use two foundations. Um, first is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and I'm going to mix that with the um, Focalure Cover Max. So hopefully this shears it down a little bit. Changing plans, I'm not going to use the Wet n Wild anymore. I'm instead going to mix the Maybelline with the um, Focal Your One. So since we want to be a little bit more natural, I'm going to also cream contour today. And I'm going to use this Mengshiki um, flashlight concealer. I got this during one of my Shopee hauls. And I'm also going to use one of these brushes which I also got on Shopee. So I'm just going to add a bit right here. Yeah, this is how it looks compared to the other side.
And I'm also going to add on my jaw. I'm going to add it in that shape to give the illusion that I have a small face. <laughs> For this one, um, make sure to connect it to the front of your brows, under under the front of your brows. Now I'm just going to lightly, very very lightly, set the areas I concealed with powder. So I'm going to use a dry sponge and what I'm going to do is dip it in some powder and then tap off the excess on the back of my hand. And whatever powder is left, you just press it in. It's time to do the eyes and I'm actually like pretty clueless. I don't know what to do. Um, let me go ahead and check the clip that I took. Wait. Yeah, look. To me, the eyeshadow looks like pretty warm and pinkish. So just in case, I have three palettes with me. I have these ones, which are the palettes that I got from Gekomo. As you can see, I have like the pinkish, um, burgundy-ish colors right there. And for the browns, I have this palette from Kibas. It's their Saturn palette. So, yeah. I redid my eyes. There is a bit of staining on the sides, but that can't be helped. This is usually what happens during the testing part. You guys don't see it because I just always fix everything off cam. So instead of just putting the eyeshadow directly on my eyes, I'm going to conceal it and just put on some powder first, just very lightly setting it so that the eyeshadow runs smooth. I'm going to use a warm brown for the transition and for that, I'm going to use this. I'm going to add a more warm brown on the lids and for that, I'm going to use this brown on this palette. And then I still see a bit of burgundy or like pinkishness on the ends. The filter does uh, have a bit of smokiness on the lash line. So I'm going to add some using this packing brush. I think they also use this as the eyeliner to serve as the eyeliner. So I'm going to try and do an eyeliner style. So next we're going to do the under eye and of course as usual with Asian filters they do have a, like um agio style or like eye fat emphasis. I'm going to add the same color on my under eye. The first color that we applied going down a bit until here. It's a bit under where your eye fat lands. And then I'm going to add the orangey brown on top of that.
So this is the part where I <laughs> struggle a bit. I'm going to use this Novo Fashion Brow Liner. It's the same pencil that I use for my lips as a lip liner. And um, I'm going to try and emphasize my eye fat. I don't know how to describe it, but I'm going to do this thing and run the line quite a bit above it. So I think that's, yeah, that's better. And then we also have to uh, fill in the actual eye fat. I'm going to do that using another packing brush. And I'm just going to use this natural skin tone color. It's still matte. So I'm just going to, again, do that thing. And then clean up the eye fat area. And then I'm also going to add a bit more darkness on the lower lash using the same color that we used as an eyeliner. I'm going to add a bit here and then connecting it to the bottom part of the eyeliner. I'm going to take this brown eyeliner from Tavion. It's their Sienna eyeliner and it's a very dark brown. So using that, I'm going to draw on some under eye lashes. I'm very bad at like doing this on cam. So I'm sorry. I hope, I really hope I don't mess this up. So. I done messed up. But um, I'm trying, I'm going to try and like clean this off if I can. And I'm also going to do the other eye off cam and I'll be right back. So I just did both eyes. They're obviously not equal. <laughs> this is what I get for doing it on cam. But anyway, let's move on to the um, bronzer and contour. We're not going to bronze so much. We're just going to do it with a very, very light hand. I'm going to add a bit on the cheeks. And I also do see a bit of warmth in the nose contour, so I'm going to assume that we should put bronzer on the nose as well. Also do the sides of the nose because it does make the nose thinner. I'm going to do that. And then for contour, um, we're going for a very cool toned uh, Focalure. It's their new contour palette in number two. Just very lightly on the cheekbones. Of course, we're going to add on the nose. Um, I'm going to put it on the front up here. And rather than focusing on the bridge, I'm going to add it on the tip instead. That's it for the contour. Um, for blush, we are going to do a very pink like a very pale baby pink. But I do have a cool toned pink here in my palette. And it's the blush from the Sweet Mint palette. So I'm just going to tap it lightly. It is quite pigmented, so um, I'm trying to be careful. And from what I see, it's just a light passing across the cheeks. Like that. <laughs> It's so easy. Oh my god, this palette is so pigmented. And I also see that they do add a bit of blush on the tip of the nose, just the very tip. So we're nearing the end. Um, but anyway, they do add a bit of highlight, and it's from what I can see, it's a pretty white highlight. So I'm just going to set my face. Where's my setting spray? For a glowy look, I'm going to take this Starshine Galaxy Fixed Makeup Spray. It's this one. And I'm just going to let that set. For the highlight, it does look a little bit 
um, white. It looks bright, like it doesn't have a ton of yellow in it. So I'm going to take a light champagne highlighter. And this is the one from EB. It's their Sculpt and Strobe Stick. It's pretty bright. So I'm just going to use this. So I'm um, going to add a bit on the tip of the nose since that's where it shows in the filter. As you can see right there. I'm also going to add some where light would naturally hit the face. Eyelashes for this look are very prominent. Like it's very dark on the lash line and the lashes look like they have some length to it. Um, so I'm going to find eyelashes that fit this look. So I found the perfect lashes for this look. Um, I'm I was supposed to use the Makiwi ones, these ones, but I realized that they're too short and these ones from Shein are too big. So I just decided to go for these ones instead. I'm just going to put some lash glue on them, put them on, and I'll be right back for the lips. Oh my god, I did the lips part without recording! <sighs> so I think I'm gonna have to redo it. Uh, you line it like this, where from here to here, uh, you line your lips. And then when it comes to the center part, you overline it a bit to make the lips look bigger. I also lost some of the contour, so I'm just going to touch up on that. Uh, I'm doing the thing that I did for the TikTok transformation there. I add contour on the top and bottom lip to look to make it look like the center of my lips are very voluminous. I added the Capovini lip tint and it ended up turning to pink. So I'm just going to add this nude lip gloss from Pink Flash. And you'll be good to go. But honestly, I find that the gloss of this one is a bit, I don't know, it's not glossy enough for me. So I'm just going to add some of this cherry, um, lip gloss from Starry, Starry USA. I'm just going to add a bit on the center of the lips. And with that, the look is done. Flowers start to bloom Just like me and you Hey guys, okay, so this is the final look. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I feel like it's as accurate as I'm gonna get. Uh, I feel like the blush made it more accurate. The placement of it, the color. The lips are a lot more pink than I would like as well as the eyes. Yeah, anyway, um, I'm sorry. I know that a lot of you guys have been asking for different kinds of TikTok filters for me to do. Um, they do kind of take some time to study because I have to look at what it changes in the face. Um, like this one, it thins out the nose, makes the face look smaller, makes the lips bigger, and I also have to study um, how it applies makeup. So it takes quite a lot of time, so I'm sorry if I skipped through a few filters. I really wanted to do the jelly look because I really, I just really like how it looks um i like the filter on tiktok and i might start doing this look in real life more it's so cute i feel like it brings out a lot of the femininity in my features so yeah with that being said thank you so much for watching this video i don't know if the tutorial was helpful and i'm pretty sure this video is going to be long but if you're watching right now thank you for sticking around and um, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like me, make sure to follow me on all of my social medias. And if you want to keep seeing content like this, then consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Keep on commenting what TikTok filter you want me to recreate, and I'll do my best to recreate them. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!